Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. Today I'd like to talk to you about ignition interlock devices and what happens if you don't have a car and they want you to put an ignition interlock device on it. Do you still have to put it on? Do you put it on in the future? What if you move? Now, just so we have a little background, the ignition interlock device became mandatory for all DWIs in New York State in August of 2010. So the law started really going into effect coming in 2011 and it's still relatively untested and there's a lot of people that really don't know a lot about the ignition interlock devices. I can tell you this from my experience being in court that if at the time of sentencing you own or plan on operating a car, all those cars that you own and or operate have to have an ignition interlock device and the judge has to mandate it for a minimum of six months. Could be longer. Some judges are now saying I want it on the car for a year. What happens if you don't have a car at the time of sentencing? What happens if the car you were driving, you barred from somebody when you got the DWI, or it was a rental car and you got the DWI? Well, in that instance, if you don't have a car at the time of sentencing, they still have a court order in place for an ignition interlock device for a minimum set of time, either six months or 12 months. And the problem is gonna be this regardless of what you do in the future, say you wait out the six months and you go to the DMV and you then get your license back in full, you're still going to have to have the ignition interlock device on a car, any car you own or operate, for a six month time period from the time that you start to drive a car. So if you waited or if you moved or anything else, that DMV record is still going to be there in New York State that sits there and says, this person has to have an ignition interlock device on their car a minimum of six months, regardless of where they are and regardless of how long you wait. If you waited two years or three years, you'd still have to put it on. I know the law may be ridiculous to some people, but it's still the law. If you have any questions about your ignition interlock device, if you have questions about your DWI case, that's more important, please feel free to give me a call. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. <music>